Quest fans! It's the Agents of Wildlands! <laughs> Yesterday we've escaped the Mirror City, we're yeah. not at the Varen Spire, yeah. we've gone into a new wildland, Ooh. which actually looks like more like a dungeon. It does a little bit. There's, there's some sort of mines over here and yeah, mine. more stuff. Mine, there's mine. A cauldron mine. and a thing. Mine, some chains. Like a pub over that side yeah. and then a mine over this yeah. side. Yeah, so we are in a dungeon. It's a, just your standard dungeon crawl, really. <laughs> you just your standard dungeon crawl. You, you got your traps and your monsters and you can find your treasure. So, for those of you who don't know how to play Wildlands and never seen it before, like it's, me, <laughs> it's sort of a little bit like Shadespire. It's um, you've you've got your combat and you're collecting your objectives no dice but there are no dice Pete is very relieved there are no dice so the luck all comes in the cards everybody has their own each warband of five models uh, um, has its own deck of cards which kind of uh, dictate how the, how the, how the warband plays you could say it dictates it <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely you could you could no, you could also it <laughs> slightly sorry I didn't think of that myself and uh, we have roped in uh, not stew this not evening Hello. so we've got a three player game this game is for two to four players and it plays it plays quite differently for two players I think uh, but for three players and four players it's got just quite a lot of uh, fun even more craziness goes on yeah I, I mean I've only played one game and it's been with three people um, but I, oh, I can already kind of tell that just two people it could be a little bit quiet because you could be miles away from each other. Yeah, I, I think stuff, you just so. think a bit more about about what you're doing. Yes, um, which is that doesn't suit us. No, um, I don't like thinking. <laughs> it so, looks it, Mister. Um, the board is double sided. This is the simple version of the board uh, we're playing tonight for our kind of first playthrough this evening. And um, what the way you start off is say everybody has uh, five uh, characters in their warband and they have differing strengths and uh, there are. Four warbands available, and in the core set, and there are additional ones. It's definitely an undead warband, Pete. Oh. Um, and uh, you but have after tonight, interests. so tonight I am playing the Lawbringers, which includes Matilda the Minotaur, mm. and uh, other such characters as Joni the Sheriff, and James the Crossbowman, and Moira the person who looks a bit like a halfling, and Afan who sort of looks like a tiefling. Ooh. And Stu, you are playing the Pit Fighters, mm. full of orcs, half orcs, and Dog Orcs. creatures, yeah, dog werewolf, and the amazing unknown. Who I rather like the unknown. He's called the it's unknown. unknown. He's just he's called the, the unknown. He's called the unknown. Yeah, or just unknown. He's, he's just the a bloke with a sword and a shield yeah. as well. It's like who are you? I'm yeah. the unknown. He's yeah. got yeah. a Frank. He's no, got a large golden helmet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yes. Oh, there we go. And I'm the nomad. So I've got Ginald, who I think is sort of my leader. He's got the most hit points. And all my guys are a bit squishy. He's got a massive spanner. I've got automate, which is obviously C3PO. Uh, with a crossbow. I've got a thing called Shiv, but he has a hammer. I think he should have a little knife. I've then got a little boy with three rather disturbing robotic legs, which he seems okay with, but he's called Elsie, so I think he probably got bullied a lot at school, even without the robot legs. And then at the end, they just decide to add one, and it's called Tech. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I would also like to say that I've only played one game this, and I won it, so I'm 100% victorious. Well, I've played three games of this in the last uh, four days, and I've won none of them. So, I, um, uh, I hate this game, I think it's stupid. <laughs> uh, um, I can't I remember my head, head around the tactics. The, the decks are all different, um, they're all made up to sort of give a slight flavour of, um, of the warband. So my warband has a range actually, of it's got a, a kind of a jack of all trades, martial none, but it has some combat abilities, has some rage combat abilities, and a few defensive abilities, and my sheriff in particular can sort of order other people around with the rally mm -hmm. command. Uh, Pete, I think yours is quite. My uh, flavour of my warband's a bit more cinnamony. Okay. And uh, yeah, I've got a little bit of everything. I haven't got much in the way of defence. Uh, I've got quite a few rallies and I've got some range and some general attacks, but not masses. And, and Stu, yours is kind of like just one path. Like you know, <laughs> it's, it's pit fighters and they pretty much hit things. Yeah, hit You've got lots of hitting things and lots all, of defending things. Lots of things, things in the and red and nothing in the blue. So yeah. no range attack. And nothing in the yellow. Uh, and nothing nothing in the not so much in the yellow. I mean, I think I think only one warband has fly. You can some. And the, we haven't uh, picked it. The Rawr. Witch's Broomstick can fly. Um, and maybe the Owl. Since he's an Owl, mm. he can fly. They have, that's the other warband of the game. That is the Guild. Who are, they have one really strong character and the rest are all absolutely feeble but can fly mm. uh, or something can fly so what we do to start off with is quite a nice little neat mechanic um, there are four there's a card like these one for each square on the board you see that you can see on the board that, that each kind of area is numbered um, and there's one of these for each uh, area and you basically get everybody who's playing gets dealt 10 of those each person uh, chooses five and they assign one to each of their warband members and that is going to be the square that, that when that warband member arrives on the board that's the, the square they will arrive on. The other five are passed on to um, their, your opponent to your left 
That's where the gems go. That's where the gems go, yes, sorry. Um, so the idea of this game is to collect objectives, gems, or kill uh, your opponents. Once you've collected five gems, or kill five opponents, or some combination of two, three and two, four and one, um, then then you've won the game. So it's the first person to five, and you can kill anybody from any warband, but you can only pick up your gems. So my gems are yellow, and definitely not orange, and... Uh, uh, just choose a blue, blue and I'm green. Green, yes. So we'll we'll put these down and we'll come back in a moment. So there we go. In the miracle of video editing, we have placed all of the tokens on the board. So how do we decide who goes first, Robin? Do we have a fight? Yes, we go outside now, and whoever is left standing is the winner. Excellent. If they go first, it's a very or, violent game. This. Or we could um, choose to the person who's got the gem on the lowest number. So no, I prefer the punch. Whoever is green, to me, gets to go first. It was awesome. the gem on the lowest number, not the. the yes. Ah, yes, because you not don't know. the character. No, because yeah. these are all hidden. They're all hidden. Yeah. Excellent. So it's me to go first. And so everybody gets seven cards. So how do we use these cards, Robin? Well, every fighter, you'll notice in the top left-hand corner of every fighter, you've got a little emblem. Ooh. So my Joni is a sheriff badge, which is what I call Joni, a sheriff. And, Joni, uh, Joni. James is James the Bowman, and he's got a bow. So if I was playing the guild, I'd have a card here. I would have a car character card with the, this witch's hat on it and a card with this kind of circle with stars on it. And that means this card can activate those two models so that it, at the very minimum it can do if you've got that symbol on it you can use you can use this card to move that character and all you do is play that card from your hand into your discard pile and you can just move one one character with the corresponding symbol one square or you can choose to do other things with it if the symbols allow and there are red symbols which are uh, combat there are blue symbols which are uh, fighting there's this blue symbol here which is like a uh, explosion that's kind of supposed to, like a spell attack it's not necessarily a spell attack but it's a uh, what we might call a sort of splash damage it does um, or area of effect and it hits so everybody that's it hits on everybody that, everybody, everybody uh, in the square and adjacent squares yes um, and then there are green ones which are defense so you can see the witch's hat could use she could use this as a defense card and there are um, also some yellow ones which we haven't got I haven't got an example here uh, but they have the rally command and the rally command is quite handy you can use it to move uh, two people who are adjacent to each other on the same square you can actually do two movements it's like a free movement um, and actually like, like a bit like shades by a movement economy action economy is vital in this in this game um, the more sort of economy you can get the better uh, there is also the fly one but nobody in this game will have fly and if you notice on this card at the bottom there is one green banner which has no uh, emblem associated with it. That is effectively a wild-ish. Is uh, his name Bruce? <laughs> <laughs> um, he is, and he's very angry. Oh um, and he and he's that brick wall is what he's going to smash through. Um, and so that that basically can be used by anybody um, to do a particular action. That action given by the brick wall is um, is use cover. So if you're being shot at, you can defend yourself by using cover behind a brick wall. And for this will probably come up again later, but cover can be got in any of these squares where there are black outlined circles. So none of these white ones, these don't have cover, but these ones with the and black line circles. Of sight is drawn between the numbers. Yes. Um, not just could you see around that corner. If someone's standing here and someone's standing in this one, you can't see them because the it goes are. through this wall. So it's section very, there's here. no argument really. There's no. no, it's very obvious. There is and, no can you or can't you whatsoever. And you can't shoot beyond. So you can, whilst, whilst you could shoot down here, there's a big old corridor these, here. These have no, uh, nothing blocking line of sight. But it's important to note you can't shoot from here and hit this one because the tens yeah. off the, around this corner here. So you could only shoot up to here. And although in theory you could shoot from 14 all the way up to number. Five, you can't because this square here has cover and you can't shoot through squares with cover. So I think that, that pretty much covers the, the basic card. Um, you can play as many as you like in a turn um, and then when your turn is finished you draw three three more. And then, but there are one other type of card, and that is the wild card. Okay. And there's, a, I think, each hand has four or five of these. I haven't actually ever counted it, but I think they must, as it doesn't say on the. Uh, there's an, every every warband comes with a breakdown of what cards it's got, and as it doesn't say what wild card you got, and I assume everybody's the same. I've never actually counted it. And um, this has three options. It has a uh, move anybody option, so you can use this card to move absolutely any of your fighters. You don't have to have a, an emblem on them, you can just move them. It has uh, the two cards, which, funny enough, means you can pick up two cards. Quite be quite good for cycling through your deck. 
and um, the final one is the exclamation mark and that is the interrupt function and we'll probably explain that how that works when it happens yeah. but basically that enables you after somebody's finished an action which is basically playing a card that you can remember you can keep playing cards as long as you like until you run out but somebody can interrupt you and say actually I'm going to play cards now and they would actually keep playing cards until they want to finish or somebody else interrupt them um, but we'll, again, we'll cover that should it happen. And once the interrupt gone. goes past, you go back to the original player. Yeah, you don't, you don't go back to the person who interrupted right the interrupted no. the interrupted person or no. anything like that because that would just get mental. It goes all right, but he just goes back to the original person. But you can play if you do interrupt. You can you can use as many cards as you like if you're not stopped. And but the only other thing is, um, say, fighting is done with the various cards you've got, whether it be range combat or magic combat or um, uh, melee combat. Um, you have to use three cards to pick up a gem. So if I wanted to pick something up with the, the witch, I would need three cards. I'd have to be on the square with a gem in it. Uh, and uh, the, for her, it would be an orange gem. Um, like that one there would be an orange gem. She'd have to be on that square like that. And I'd need to play three cards with the witch's hat, and I could pick it up. There are other alternatives if you, if your warband member dies. So supposing the owl person who uh, had died, they were gone. Any cards with the owl symbol on, and obviously there's quite a few in the in the deck, they can be used once the person is dead to also pick up as long as they're the same. You I'll can't mix and match. Else. Yes. You pick it up on something else. You have to have three owl cards or three witches hat cards, not two. But you one can or the other. also use the wild cards to represent any one of those you three can, as well. Indeed, you can indeed. So you could have two witches hats and a wild card to allow the owl to pick it up if the witch was dead. Yes. Just to be a bit confusing there. Yes. But you yes. can use the wild cards as any symbol. Yeah. Yes, uh, Yes, but okay. you, you still cannot mix and match symbols, so you can't have a hat and two, um, a, one, a hat, an owl, and a wild card. Mm -hmm. But you could have a hat and two wild cards. I think that's it. I we think, we're think of things as we go along. Um, I say we start by we just simply play cards. Unfortunately, we can't, like in, in Shades by where we show you our cards, we can't do that here because there's billions of them. There's lots of them. You cycle through them very quickly, and they all have different numbers of symbols on it. It would get very confusing very quickly. So you're just well, we're trying to explain what we're playing, which card we're playing on a given at a given time. Yeah. Um, but you won't actually know what the makeup of our hand is at any one time. Which is good because then it won't make us look as bad as we normally are. That's true. <laughs> I, I couldn't have played one of those because I didn't have one. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So, we know now that I am number one spot, so I get to go you first. You get to go first. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. One thing I didn't cover is that while you've still got undeployed fighters in your warband, your first action on your turn should always be to deploy one fighter. You can deploy as many fighters as you like in your turn, and there are reasons for deploying more than one and reasons for not doing so. But you must deploy one, and so I think in the last game we pretty much forgot that every turn. Nearly but every we, turn, we, apart we, from the last one. It's meant to be the, the first thing we do, so... Um, We'll try and we'll try and get that right. Yep. Okay, so I am going to place Tack, who is my number fourteen. She goes down over here. So she's on the board now, and now I can play any cards that have her her symbol on to do things. Uh, I can't attack anybody right now with Tack. Tack attack. So I'm going to use one of my cards with her symbol on. Although it's an attack symbol, I'm just going to use it to move her. Because you, as long as you have the symbol on there, you can use that to move them, and they always move one uh, sort of section. So I'm going to move that onto 15, and then I've got three more cards that have the gun symbol on. They have all various things on them, but I'm just going to use all three of them together to pick up the first gem. Oh, it's basically the card could be the first game. But first point, might as well me. stop now. Hurrah! I'm <laughs> going to win again. I love this game. <laughs> and then I'm going to just stop there. I'm going to pick up three cards. So then it moves round clockwise to Robin. I'm going to start by deploying Moira onto square 37. And Joni onto square 33. Joni, 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 Joni. And I'm going to play a uh, Sheriff Joni rally move to move. Now a rally move is a special move that not everybody has. He can move this character and and or an adjacent character. So I'm basically going to shift them both in the southerly yep. direction. Thank you. Then I'm going to do it again. It fell off the board. <laughs> oh, that I don't write the rules. Okay. And then I'm going to play one of my wild cards to draw two new cards. Oh, one, two. Now it's worth just reminding everyone at this point, anybody who wants to butt in, they can if they want to use one yes. of those cards to butt in and interrupt Robin and take over for a little bit if they wished. But assuming nobody does, I'm going to play three Moira cards to pick up 
a yellow gem. Oh. And so it begins. Yeah, and then that is then I end my turn. And so at the end of your turn you pick up three cards. Pick up three new cards. So now Stu, it's over to you. I'm gonna place Carrick here with, on the number thirteen. He's got a rather large axe. It is a rather large axe. And then I'm going to move him one with that axe symbol to 16. And then I'm going to move him again with a wild card. To there. <laughs> and then I'm going to use another axe symbol to make one attack. Right. So at this point, if I have a card which has a, a sword symbol on it, I could use that to defend because the attack and the defend symbols are the same. If it's got one sword on it, it's one damage. If it's got two swords on it, it's two damage. And it's the similarly. same for the bows. The and the uh, the spell damage one at the bottom just was, does one damage, but it does it to everybody. Yeah. So I now need to decide if I want to sacrifice tack or not. Well, it would only be one damage at this point. That's true. I will take the one damage at this point. She only has two wounds, so she's already taken half damage. At which point I will play the second attack for one damage. I'm going to actually use one of my cards that has a universal attack symbol to block that. Okay, that completes my go. Okay. So I'm going to pick up three cards and finish there. Okay, I'm going to place Ginold on number 16 oh. there. I'm then going to use my wild card to move him one to there. And I'm going to use three spanner cards. <laughs> I'm going to grab another gem. Let's pull a tack around the corner. Help me! No, <laughs> screw no, you! I've seen something pushing out here. The gem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get coffee. You can die for all I care. <laughs> And that's me done. I'm going to draw three cards. So it's two points to me. Oh, he's in the lead. This game's easy. <laughs> okay, so I have to place somebody. So I'm going to place Matilda, the Minotaur. And she, <laughs> I mean, that was a bit of a mistake. I probably should have placed her last time because then I could have got a free move out of her. But 29. I oh, you could have done, yes, because yeah. you were there, weren't you? Yeah. So I'm, I am actually going to do that again with uh, Joni's sheriff move. I'm just going to move them down. Joni, 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 Joni. It's the last exactly. time I do that. Last it's time. not, though, is it? You just have to cut it out in future times. <laughs> yes. uh, I'm going to also uh, play a wild card and draw two more cards, which actually was probably a mistake because now I've got loads of cards and I need to draw three. Um, well, actually, it wasn't a mistake. Cause well, picked... Yeah, it depends on if you could draw the cards and then use them, yeah. then you're okay. But It wasn't a mistake because I picked up three hoods, which is Moira. So um, I'm going to take another one of these gems. Nice. Okay. Then I will end my turn. Round of you, Stu, and you have to place oh, somebody. Um, Second mm -hmm. game in, and we're already not forgetting it at all. Hmm. We're like pros at this. <laughs> I'm going to place Marie there on number nine. I am then going to attack, attack. Attack, 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 attack. attack, attack. attack. You're going to attack, attack. <laughs> Single attack. Attack, attack. Do you want to play attack, attack? I did. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you kill Tack. That's very kind of you. Tack so, for R. So I get that character as a point, effectively. You do. Yep, so you've got one, I've got two, and Robin's got two right now. Oh, oh. mightily trailing behind. I'm going to play a card and move Marie to here. Number oh, eight. And then I'm going to play another card to move her to there. And then that's the end of my go. I'm going to place two people this time. I'm going to place Automate, who's C3P over the crossbow. So he obviously just got fed up of Ooh, being the butt of all the jokes. So and Shiv on 31. So we couldn't interrupt your first placement. But no, you could interrupt the second, second one if you wish to. Yeah. Oh, you cannot interrupt immediately after somebody's played. So they can. Um, they have to be able to do one placement and then another action. So if they would then place somebody else. But you could interrupt after the second, yes. the second placement. So you could always place two characters. It's not pretty yeah, much, or yeah, play somebody much, and yeah, play yeah, a card yeah, to move yeah, or attack yeah. with them or something like but that. Yeah, if you, if you, then it's I guess it's to stop you placing someone and then someone immediately interrupting and killing that yes, person. Yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need to play some cards. Yeah. But also it gives you the ability to place a character and immediately attack with it, possibly. As yeah. Well. yeah. Or at least get one attack off before mm. someone can interrupt. Yeah. So yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm then going to use uh, one of my one of my automate symbols, which is the rally, and I'm going to move them both forwards. One. Ooh. And I'm going to use one of my spanner cards with an attack on it to move him over there. 
and I'm going to draw three cards. I'm going to end my turn there. See, it's a personal failure that I haven't actually picked up a gem this turn. You think that's a personal failure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with a rally card, and I'm going to push onto there. Do they have to be next to each other for the rally to yes. work? Yes, they can be in the same square. Uh huh. Or adju- uh, so an adjacent it, it, it's, square. It's a move this character and or an adjacent character. Oh, I didn't place my person, so I was the first person to forget, so I automatically it's disgraceful. Um, to make up for it, I'm going to place two people. Ooh. Place number two and number three. Well, I'm not going after number one now. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go over there? No, it's surrounded by people. This is the interesting thing about this game. I've got two cards I could use. One of them is better in this turn, but plays a stronger symbol down that's wasted. Right, yeah, 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 So I kind of don't really want to get rid of that card. But if I do the other one, it's a bit rubbish. I had that earlier, and I ended up using some of the cards because I just figured I'm just going to plough on with it and I might get another yeah. card out that will replace it anyway. Well, yeah, exactly. So I think I'm going to... Um, the, thing is, I, the thing is that I do have to make a decision as to what I'm going to do. You do, because um, it's getting late yeah. and we're all very tired. <laughs> that's not what I meant. I meant <laughs> strategically. I have to make a strategic decision. It doesn't have to be strategic at this point in the I'm not very good at strategic decisions. I'm going to, I'm going to risk moving these guys to another like rally. That. Another rally. So the uh, James the Archer also has rally. Oh, He's going to rally to there and then <clears> stand <throat> and look at Marie. Mm. My hello. Right. Well, the first thing I need to do is place a character. So I'm going to place unknown over on number 36. Hello. Uh, and then <laughs> that going... must be really annoying when he's filling out paperwork. Name unknown. No, no name. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first name? What's unknown. his first name? <laughs> Who's on second? Ah. <laughs> I'm going to place three cards with Marie's symbol on to pick up this gem from number five. <coughs> um, so Stu's got two. We've all got two. I don't like this. It's too close. So I think I'll leave it there. Okay. And I will pick up three. So first thing I have to do is I have got to place uh, Elsie over there. Oh, hello. Yes, they have three legs. Elsie will fall over. <laughs> Now I've got to try and work out what I'm going to do with this disparate set of cards I've got in my hand. Why I've got a parrot set of cards in my hand, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to use two of my hammer cards to move Shiv. So he's going to go one there, one to there. I'm then going to use another one of my hammer cards, which is an attack one. I'm going to move him to there with that. I'm then going to use one of my other cards, which has a robot head, to move angry C-3PO over to there, and that's my turn done. I'm going to start the way I've been mainly playing this game so far, with Moira. Terribly. <laughs> placing three cards and oh. picking up this gem here. Robin's on three, three now. Three plays two plays two. Ooh. I see a lot about to go down <laughs> over here. And I'm going to take a wild future. card and draw two cards. And I'm going to play another wild card and draw another two cards. Oh, it's risky because you've got five, six cards now. And then turn you'll be picking up three if you can't play any. And it worked out very well. Damn you! Damn your eyes! I'm going to play one Minotaur move card to move Matilda onto 26 over there. Mer. And then I've managed to pick up a whole host of more Matilda cards. Oh, and I'm going to play three Matilda cards oh. and pick up another gem. So that is four gems. Cheating, Robin, cheating. <laughs> yeah, I stacked the deck this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to do any more. And I'm going to draw three new cards. I'm going to play Chizok there, the half orc. I'm going to move him one to there. Leave me alone! <laughs> uh, I'm going to attack him for one damage. I'll take that one damage. I will then attack for two damage. No, no, I'm not sure why I'm looking at my cards. I can't do anything about these, dear. <laughs> well, I don't feel proud of myself, but there Good. we go. You're just beating up a child. I hope you're proud of yourself. Fairly, says so <laughs> <laughs> I probably wouldn't win any other fights. <laughs> play a card and play Karak. And move him one to there, then I'm going to pick up three. So I've realised that I am standing on a green gem with Shiv, and I'm going to, I've got three cards that have Shiv symbols, so I'm going to use all three cards to pick up that gem. So I'm on three gems now, 
and I'm going to use my last card, which has the robot on and a rally symbol, to run them both away. <laughs> nice. Run away! Run away! And then I'm going to—I've got no cards left, so I shall pick three up. So the right. score is three to me, Robin, four to you, and three to Stu. Okay. This could be over very soon. I'm going to start in the ears. by making a rally move with James the Bowman, and I'm going to move James the Bowman to there, and I'm going to move this guy to there. And then I'm going to make a one range attack with Afan at you, and you're not in cover, so if you have a shield you can defend it. That's a single mm. arrow range it's attack for one damage. Arrow attack. I do have a, a wild card a wild shield. shield. Okay. <coughs> and then I'm going to draw two more cards. Or oh, Robin's got to the bottom of his deck, and what that means is now he has to basically shuffle his discard pile and then he can start drawing from it again. And I'm going to make a range attack with James, mm -hmm. which again, if you've got a shield... Single range attack. Single range attack. Yeah, so you can defend it again with okay. another shield. So then I'm going to play one splash damage. Now it's rather unfortunate that I'm in the same square as you because you can choose a square that you're adjacent to. Mm -hmm. um, or the square you're in. Or the square you're in. Um, but you deal damage to everybody in that square. So if I wasn't in the same square as you, I could just deal one damage yeah. to you. But I am in the same square. So we, you take a damage and I take a damage, unless you've got a shield to defend it. I don't. Yes, you don't. So I will put that on. Can you use a shield James? to defend your own attack? I guess you probably could, yeah. I guess you probably could, but I'm not going to. And then I'm going to move Afan to there. And then I'm going to make a single melee attack. So you need a single melee to defend. Which I have. Ting! <sighs> Who is that character? Marie. She appears to be a solid wall of steel. And then I'm going to do another, oh, bugger. And then I'm going to do another one. Oh. Can't stop that. Okay. I probably shouldn't have done that because now Pete can run around killer and I can't kill that person then. If I had any cards <laughs> which would enable me to do so. Right. So Stuart's over to you. I have to play my last character. You do. Cotton Rad. I'm just going to show everybody what I drew. I drew three wild cards. Cheat. Big fat cheat. Hmm. Best of the fat. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I might as well play this interrupt to pick up two cards and hope it's something useful. I'm going to play another wild card and pick up two cards. I'm going to play another wild card that I've just picked up. <laughs> pick up two more cards. Card to move Marie one. She's running away. She's running away. I'm going to spend another card to move Marie again. She's still running away. She's running away even more. I'm going to spend another card to move her away again. Um, She's charmed. You had that many cards for her. You had all the defence cards and then you had all the move cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, the defence cards are, are generic, aren't they? Some of them are. Some yeah. of them aren't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. most of the ones that you played before yeah. were generic. Okay. Yeah, actually, he's got a lot of generic, I think. I mean, because yeah. his deck is basically defence. Yeah, yeah, defence and attack. So I'm going to kill. play a Carrick card and move him to there. Mm. I've got one card left. <laughs> I'm going to play this card three times <laughs> <laughs> to pick and it I'm up. I'm going to leave it there and pick up three. Okay. So onto my turn, I'm going to play one of my wild cards to pick up two. And I'm going to play one of my wild cards to pick up two. <laughs> and I'm going to play three of those cards, which are three Ooh. Robot Boy cards, because he's dead. I'm going to pick up this gem. Robot Boy's not dead, he's there. I mean, try and make Cheat! Elsie. Cheat! I mean, poor little Elsie. <laughs> okay, wow, so you've got four. So I've got four now. Robin's got four now. Stu's got three. Oh, loser. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now I've got to try and work out one, do my last few cards. And they're going to use one of my wild cards again to pick up another two cards. <laughs> I had two, okay. and then I picked up one when yeah, I yeah. used one of them. Mm. And I've just picked up another wild card, so I'm going to use that to pick up another two cards. Maybe I'll get something useful eventually. Maybe not. I'm going to use one of my robot cards, which is a rally, and I'm going to move C3 go and um, shiv to there. At that point, I think I'm going to stop there. I've got three cards. I'm going to I'm going to hold off now, and I'm going to draw three new ones. I do have to shuffle my deck first, and I pick up my three new cards. Okay, and well, I'm going to start my go by playing a wild card and picking up two. Ooh. And I'm going to play another wild card and pick up another two. So I'm going to attack you with a splash damage card, mm. which does require shields only, and I'm going to do it on this square so I don't injure myself this time. Okay, I am going to use a shield then to deflect that. 
can you use cover in that case as no. well? You can only use cover uh, against arrows, you can't yeah. use it against. I'm trying to decide which one I want to get rid of. Okay. I'm That's good to know, because I have got another splash damage attached I'm now not going to use. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'll get rid of a card, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to play a rally attack and move these, not a rally attack, a rally card and move these two to here. <laughs> and then I'm going to do it again and move these two to here. Ooh. Ooh. And then I'm going to stop and play a wild card and pick up two more cards. I think Robin's changed you. <laughs> I am, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I'm going to play two scimitars and go one, two to there. Mm. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to play three, pick up three cards. And I just played a gajillion scimitars. So the chance of there being three scimitars is very small. Slim, slim at best. Okay, I'm going to play a wild card and pick up two. Stu has exhausted his deck as well now. Not for not. It's good to see that we're all sort of getting through our decks at around the same sort of pace as well. We've got a very similar score, very similar yeah, deck usage. I think it's very well balanced. It does seem to be so far. The only thing that's missing from this game so far is an ability to block other people from moving for a hex you're in. Yeah. I'm going to play three... Now, now I feel like I need to double check the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play three axe cards for Karak to pick up that gem. Ooh, Just in case. It hasn't happened that often, has it? So it wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be too horrendous. It hasn't. Not yet, anyway. Then I'm going to pick up three and finish one over there. Ooh. So you've just picked up your fourth gem, have you? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's four all! Now I'm going to use a robot C-3PO card rally. So I'm going to move him to there. I'm going to move him to there. Unfortunately, I'm not sure I can... I still can't do this, which is quite irksome. It's not that irksome. I'm going to use, I'm going to use Shiv's standard attack on crossbow bloke James. That's just one. That's just one. one. I'll take that. And then going to use C-3PO's uh, single ranged attack on him as well. Okay, I'm not in cover, but I can use a shield, can't I? You can if you've got one. I, I do and I will. Ooh. I'm then going to end my go there, so I've got two cards left, so I'm going to draw another three. Okay. So it's over to you, Robin. I'm going to use James to do an arrow attack on um, Shiv. Is that Shiv there? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take yeah. the one damage. Okay, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna do a risky splash damage on both. Of Onto them. both of us. Yeah. Oh. Actually, do I have to do it? Yes, I do have to do that. Yeah. So that would be one damage apiece. Yeah. Although, if I use a shield, yeah, I take the damage. You're still gonna take damage. Yeah. I'm gonna use a shield, <laughs> so you've damaged yourself I've by damaged one. I've myself, so I'm close to being dead. I really now. want an interrupt card now. And no, no, I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> Stu, over to you. Mm. I'm gonna use. Wild card to move Chizuk one. Here's another wild card to move him there. Oh no, Stu's gonna win. Uh, um, hang on, hang on. Oh, 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 if I'm gonna interrupt. He is, but he hasn't got a card. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna interrupt. I have, but I can't do anything. I, can't, oh. I, I can interrupt him, but I can't actually do anything with it because I haven't quite placed my models the right oh. way around. Oh. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. No, that's not going to do anything, no. No, I can't do anything. In that case, I'm going to play uh, two Chizok cards and a wild card. No! And we say win, no. Stu wins. No! Oh. No, if Stu hadn't done that in the next round, I had a double damage card for the robot. And I also had a single damage card for Shiv as well, wow. so I could have possibly taken James if, out. If, if my card figures had been the other way round, yeah. I have two melee attacks for this guy. So I don't know whether you'd have been able to defend them. I could have potentially killed him if you didn't have. Uh, a I have a oh double melee attack. No, oh, it's only single. Which would do us the same. You just no, have I don't. Melee. I yeah. don't. So if I, if I hadn't moved, you know, if I, yes. it's really. I, I found that with all the games, uh, the game we played earlier. If if you if my characters had been switched around, I, I, yeah. I would have won. But I didn't have the right cards. Right Trouble places. is, you you commit your fighters in a certain direction, yeah. then you pick up three cards. Then you're like, oh, those are exactly not the cards I wanted. No. I quite like this game. It's nice and simple. Mm. Um, the mechanic is quite simple on it. I don't know how balanced the different warbands are, but I suspect. Well, they're... considering both games we played tonight have ended up five four four. Yeah, that yeah. seems it's pretty quite balanced. Tight, isn't yeah, it? I fact, and I, so I think every game I've played has been five four or five four four. I think we got a bit. Mm. Sidetracked over here, and Stu's like, "I'll just, well, I was I'll just, just go and get some things." On what I picked guys. up over there, and yeah. then 
two of my characters have done nothing effectively yeah. since they arrived. If Marie hadn't been able to run away, I think the game would have been over about three rounds ago. Only two people really, died in the whole thing. Yeah. They were both mine. Yeah, and that Apologies. was actually I, was re- I I kind of needed somebody to die because it it, it, it stops your ability to pick stuff up. Yes, if you had got some people dead, mm. but then I had the problem where the two guys I had dead. I at one point I didn't have any cards in my hand that had their symbols right. on. Or but I, you did I think, use I think three I had to pick one up. I'm sure you used three. No, um, I think that was um, okay. I actually had the spanners. I think uh, I had three okay. spanners or something like that had. on him. Um, annoyingly, I think at one point I had two cards had one of the dead people symbols and two of the other cards had the other dead person symbols. On. It was like it wasn't three of them, so I couldn't do anything with that. No. But this is quite a fun little game. I quite I like this. I like it. I think it's 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 quite well balanced, and I'm interested. They, there's at least one new warband. I know they were talking about two. I don't know if the second one ever came out. There's the undead warband. You've piqued uh, my interest. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So do let us know whether you want to see us play on the advanced side of the board because we could do that at some point in the future because the, uh, there's there's extra rules. There's there's I think there's one way tunnels and height restriction I think and things like that anyway um, and I think you can only go through a gate you can't shoot over the wall or something there's very there, it's, 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 it's a city there's uh, a few other things makes yeah. it a bit more three dimensional yeah so it'll be interesting if, so let us know if you want to play if you want us to see the other war band in action or if you not that we're necessarily going to outlay for it but if you want to see Pleat play the undead um, then do let us know in the comments below I also like the fact that with this game that you've got whilst you have one fixed board layout It'll be a completely different game the next time around because you you have mm. you have the random draw of five cards and five cards for you and five cards yeah, for the. Yeah, that's a really nice tokens. mechanic. I think there's, I think the game has got a lot of depth that we've obviously barely scratched the surface. Because I think there's a lot in in choosing where you put your figures yeah. and and where you, where your opponent's gems come up. There's always going to be that interplay, mm. and I think knowing the composition of your yes. band means you know you'll know better the probabilities because there's a car with all the all the card numbers on so you'll know the probabilities of of getting defense cards and attack cards at the right time yeah um, i just realized i've got 17 i've got i've got 26 defense cards nice no wonder i haven't got anybody dead <laughs> <laughs> i had the problem that uh but then defense cards are only good for ranged attacks the shields no, the, sh- the shields and the brick wall Oh yeah, but they're only right, good in right, yeah, yeah, so you really, need, I need to be, attack ones. Yeah, but I find it I quite, only have I only oh well, I say only I've got fifteen of those, but yeah. yeah. It's quite hard to when I mean, you've got thirty. Mm. It's Stu quite, is all about the clobbering people. It's quite hard to um, govern that. I think it's very hard to think. Well, I'm going to keep away from the opposition yeah. because you, you 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 don't know. If you you, can. And also, you've got to if you've got to go get the just no point just backing off if it's in the wrong direction. Um, so yeah, but it's interesting. I would definitely, I definitely play some more games. Whether we fill them or not, I don't know. I definitely play some more games. I, I I had the other problem that in that one of my characters, Tack died very early on, and I had her quite near the centre of the board. Yeah. But then I realised afterwards she's the only character. She's one of the only characters I have that have any double damage range attacks uh, on her. Yeah. And so had I realised that, I maybe would have put her a bit further out of the way, with the, the view to then. Pulling her in and, and using her ranged attacks a little later on, but but even the range because the double range is only you can only do it two squares away. That is true, and um, there aren't very many shoot shots for more than three anyway. So even with ranged attacks, it's hard to, it's hard to keep away. Two yeah. two a well placed rally and a move card, and somebody's on top of you. Um, you know. Or, f- or two move cards. I feel like there should be a way of stopping people getting through certain, like down here. Where you just came screaming past, yeah. and I might not have had the cards necessary to be able to do it. But I kind of feel like there should be a way of you being able to do something to stop them doing that, like a shield to block or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah if because then I could have possibly used an interrupt card. Yeah, and then I could use my shield card to maybe knock you back a square or something yeah, like, that, or yeah. just use a shield card, and then that means that you can't pass through that. I guess screen. for every extra moving part, it then becomes more. There's another Com- thing to balance. Yes, yeah. yes. Every every single element that you add is another little weight that you've got to balance on the whole scale. Okay, the, so. the, the cards are very clear. It's it, although it, when you start off and you go, well, this these three symbols mean this and that. Actually, once you start playing, it's very clear what what the cards. Yeah, do. when you start when you first read through yeah. it, you sort of glaze over a bit. Yeah. But then once you play, even just halfway through a game, you suddenly realise, oh, okay, this is actually quite a simple mechanic. You just it, you pick it up quite quickly. And the miniatures aren't bad. They're not they're not GW standard. But they're, they're not. They're, they're not bad. They're, okay. they're, 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 they're thematic enough, and they they all come assembled, and um, they have been. I think they've been lightly dry brushed. 
think. They've certainly got a texture to them. They definitely look like they've had some kind of painting going on, whether it's a dry brush or whether it's been a wash of some kind. There's definitely some kind of texturing yeah. has been done very, yeah. very lightly on and it. And it would be fun to paint them up, but I wouldn't have time. But, so, um, yeah. I also like the fact that the... Um, the artwork on the cards is, is optional. It doesn't really matter what the artwork on the cards is. It usually depicts somebody who can be activated on the card, but that's about it. But yeah, it's slightly confusing for new players and the first time yeah. they played because you think, well, th this card must activate um, This card has shiv on, so yeah, yeah exactly, or whatever, but, so uh, surely that means that only... And it does, it. but it also does two other things. Yeah, and I like the fact that the cards, it, when somebody can't be activated, their sword is just empty. So you yeah, can very yeah, easily yeah. line the cards up in your hand and you can see, OK, I've got three of this symbol, I've got five of that symbol yeah. and so on. It, it starts to help you plan out what you want to do. Yeah, the only problem I, I do have is, is it's quite. I found it quite It's quite hard to fan them out so that you can see what they can do. So you can see that... You oh, I never put, did that, but yeah. You, I, I, you, I, saw, I you can see the, what your person can do something yeah. quite easily, but you I, can't see what they can do. I was only looking at the symbols because the symbols let you move anyway and regardless of what the thing is and pick things check. up so if you know yeah. you're one square away and you've got five of the same symbol you're safe. you know you can yeah. move one and grab that and of thing. course your wall band is predominantly about moving and picking things up because you're yeah. quite feeble yes yeah, so, yeah pretty weak these you, guys your models aren't that great are they no <laughs> <laughs> i will hurt you <laughs> You will try. <laughs> I will try and hurt you. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Hopefully yep. you enjoyed that one. Any in thoughts, the Wild Joe? Bands. We did we? Usual Pete and I rambled and on. No, no, I think that covers it. It's uh, the war band is very much move slowly, hit things, yours, and defend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it seemed to work all right this time. Yeah. Again, mainly could have possible model model placement and some luck. So I think I've played six games of this now, and I'm I'm played six one zero. Great. So I'm loving this game. But I actually, it doesn't matter because it's such a, such a quick, light game. It's not like this is actually know, quicker yeah. than Underworlds and stuff it's like that. Yeah, there's yeah, zero yeah. deck building. There's zero. There's almost zero in in the way of setting yeah. up the board and stuff. You just shuffle and deal out the cards, and you can start playing straight away. Really, quite a nice light game. It's not like investing eight hours in a no. game and then finally you've lost. No. It's not. It's not Settlers of Catan or something like that, where where you're, you're there for the duration yeah. and then yeah. And I and I think on reflection, me saying about the being able to block people, that's just going to prolong the game more. Mm, and yeah. you know what? I think actually having it shorter isn't that bad a deal. Because it's almost like it's going to last six or seven turns. I don't know how many turns we had. Maybe you can count it up and put it up on the on the screen. I shall try. And but it's kind of like you, people will already see that. You, you, you <laughs> pretty, it was about seven times around. You I pretty think. much get a gem or a kill somebody each yeah. turn. Yeah. And only odd turn that you miss. Yeah, I think um, we we had a flurry in the beginning where people were picking up gems or killing, uh, things like that were going on very early on and then we hit a bit of a lull where people weren't in the position to pick up things yeah. and then there was a lot of moving around yeah, well, I think you have the early flurry and then you, yeah. then you, you exhaust all your cards and there's not much you could do or yes. if you have a, an attack and a defense like we did yeah. you, suddenly you've got almost no cards whereas you might have had a full hand yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah attacking is quite good in that respect because mm. it, it, even if you don't defeat them you're whittling down their yeah. cards yes. and, they, and you're going to pick up three <coughs> especially if you're attacking the person who's going next yeah. as well because yeah. you can use that as a way of depleting their card yeah. stack yeah. and maybe stopping them from being able to go on a long bomb charge yeah. to go and pick something up. Yeah. I, like okay. this I like this game. Good, uh, good. I'm very interested to see uh, what the other war bands like. I suspect that they all will be fairly self-contained so yes, that you yeah. can just pick it up and play with it. You'll have all the cards and stuff like that, a bit like in Underworlds. They are bringing out a Judge Dread version with Judge Dread uh, teams. I don't know how buying that's going to work. Don't care. Buying <laughs> it. Okay. I want uh, that game. What's it called? It's just called Wildlands. I think, Judge uh, Dread. I think it's got a different name. I think, but but it is based. It's, it's a Judge Dread game with the Wildlands engine. Have that. We yeah, need that. It's out in soon. Out soon. I want that. I'm okay. going to buy that. Right. Cool. Well, hopefully you'll see us play the Judge Dread one in a few months, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, maybe and let us know below if you want to see us play this one a bit more as well. <laughs> so we'll see you soon in the Varen Spire or maybe in the Beast Grave. Bye. Bye.